One of the big benefits we get in any blockchain solution, public or private, is the idea of transparency. In a public blockchain solution like Bitcoin or Ethereum, because they're anonymous and we have no concept of identity, we have no way of treating users differently. And so all data on a public blockchain is transparent and visible to all other participants. And this is really important. It adds a lot of value when we're talking about exchanging currency or tokens of monetary value. Uh, because as long as we can protect the anonymity of the participants, it gives us a great way for anybody to validate the details of any transaction on a ledger that is immutable, permanent, can't be changed, and offers a high degree of trust. Um, this also has a lot of other really interesting potential use cases that we're starting to explore with public blockchain technology. Voting and voter registration, um, tracking election results, um, these kind of things are really, really great use cases for having that level of public transparency. On public blockchains, there's another kind of transparency, which adds a lot of value as well, and that is full transparency into the smart contracts that execute on that blockchain. These oftentimes are smart contracts which have the potential of working with uh, other people's money, sometimes large amounts of other people's money. And if you're going to entrust your hard-earned money into someone else's smart contract, it's really nice to have the ability to be able to go and review the source code of that smart contract, either yourself or by hiring a developer to audit that smart contract, to make sure it's written fair, that there are no security vulnerabilities, and that it does what it claims to do. On the private blockchain side, while we have permissioning and we can control how open or closed our data is, uh, we still have a lot of benefits of being able to share data in shared infrastructure that that private blockchain creates. There are a lot of business networks and value chain relationships where the participants would love to be able to share more data and more information with consumers about the business processes and the steps that go into delivering the goods and services we consume. What has traditionally prevented solutions like this is the lack of any kind of shared infrastructure. While technically conventional technology may be able to address these concerns, it is oftentimes human beings not being able to come to consensus on questions of who owns the platform, who builds the platform, who maintains the platform, and if a participant leaves the ecosystem, do they take all or part of the platform with them that have prevented us from using conventional technology in these respects. Using private blockchain solutions like Hyperledger can help alleviate many of these concerns and create a truly shared technical infrastructure between organizations. This allows participants in a supply chain or value chain to track data and to share that data about how goods and services are produced, created, consumed, and distributed into the open market that we haven't really been able to do practically before. It's estimated that over one-third of the food we produce goes to waste because we don't have this kind of clarity into our supply chain with food or into the supply chain with other types of products. Uh, think about if a meat gets recalled because it might be contaminated, how much perfectly good meat gets thrown away just to err on the side of caution, where if we just had greater resolution and visibility into where that product originated from and how it went uh, all the way from production to our plate, then we could issue more accurate recalls and reduce the amount of food waste. Consumers might <clears throat> value your product more, or your offering more, if they're able to see where it comes from. If you're manufacturing and distributing clothing, and you can demonstrate to consumers that all of that clothing was sourced from parts of the world with fair labor practices, uh, consumers are going to have more trust and faith in the brand, and ultimately willing to pay a higher price for it. Uh, so these kind of transparency solutions are one of the biggest benefits of blockchain, and one of the areas being most explored uh, because right now there are a lot of consumers who would simply like more visibility into the products and services they purchase and blockchain both public and private can be a great solution for doing that.